Hey everyone, it's Holly from Baby Gizmo. So today we're going to talk all about different ideas to put in their lunch boxes. I'm one of those moms that likes to pack their lunch, and I know there's some people out there, including myself, that just can't look past the peanut butter and jelly, the chips and the, the dessert. I mean, it's hard to think of a new lunch item each day, so I just kind of wanted to give everybody some fun ideas. So the first thing I'm going to share with you is sandwich sushi. First of all, you could, if your kid, let's say your kid loves peanut butter and jelly, and you know what, they can't get past it, that's what they want, and they don't have a peanut allergy, um, make peanut butter and jelly sushi. Just mix it up a little bit, it's super easy to make. All you have to do is cut off the crust, flatten it out, you can flatten it out with a, even a cup, spread the peanut butter and jelly, roll it, secure it with a little peanut butter on the edge, and you have yourself peanut butter and jelly sushi. You just cut it into pieces, put it in a container like this with a lid so it doesn't get squished. And this one's really fun. They're going to love that. Also, you could do turkey roll-ups. Turkey roll-ups, it's easy because you could add things into it, lettuce, tomato, whatever you want, or just turkey and cheese in a tortilla, roll it up, cut it in pieces. Again, really, really fun, really easy. Kids love it. Now, we can think past the sandwiches. How about soup for lunch? You know what? You don't normally think to send your kids to school with soup, but if you get one of these thermoses that keep things hot up to five hours and cold up to seven hours, these are awesome, these are the food thermoses. You could do canned soup, homemade soup, chicken noodle soup is a hit with the kids. Make sure it's piping hot in the morning, pour it into their thermos, make sure they have a spoon and that it's sealed, and then they're gonna have a hot lunch. So it's something a little bit different. You could also do, you know, a pasta salad, you know, make up a pasta salad of the things they like, put that in there. How about macaroni and cheese? Make up, you know, a thing of macaroni and cheese in the morning, put that in there, make sure it's really hot. And then they're gonna have, it'll be warm by the time lunch comes around, but you know what, for a first, second, third grader, they would love to have macaroni and cheese. And so these food containers, it's by Thermos, I got mine at Target, um, really, really good. And what's great about it is they fit right in a lunch box or a lunch bag. So, you know, like this, there you go, and it's still room for other stuff. So think you can, like I said, think hot foods as well. Now, also, you know how they like, get those Lunchables? They're kind of expensive. You know, you can probably get them for one or $1.50 a piece, but you could absolutely do it yourself. Now, do cheese and crackers. Just put one you have a, a container here that has two sides, one side of the crackers, and then kids love things in shapes. I took cheese and I cut them into stars, and then I gave them the other half. So, because I don't want to waste any cheese, but again, kids love it. They have cheese and crackers. That is an idea. Of course, fruit. I mean, you can never go wrong with fruit. Just a little container of, of carrots, raspberries, and blueberries. You put it in a sealed container like that so it doesn't get squished. Like I said, I love these containers because they go right into the lunchbox. And you can get them pretty cheap at you know, Tar Target and Walmart. You could do bananas, of course. Another one of my favorites are the yogurts, um, the yogurt packs. These, the gogurts, the Simply Gogurts, I freeze them and I put them in their lunchbox frozen with a cold pack. And so sometimes they're even still a little bit frozen when they get to school or they're just cold. So the yogurt um, squeezes are awesome. Or you could get your own yogurt container and just, you know, something like this, put the yogurt in there. Also, Raisins, raisins are great. And the last thing I want to show you today is homemade granola bars. That's right, I just made a homemade granola bars and they're awesome and I even snuck some flax seed in them. That's right, don't tell my kids because they might not eat them if they knew that. But they've got cra dried cranberries and mini M&Ms and honey and peanut butter and if your child has a peanut butter allergy, you just leave the peanut butter out and substitute it with something else. Um, but they're homemade granola bars. And so I'll put a link to how I made these in the recipe underneath the video. But homemade granola bars are awesome um, because then I know exactly what's in them as opposed to the packaged ones. I know what I put in there and there's no extra hidden preservatives or something like that. So this is just a few ideas for you from the I really like the sushi. I think it's really fun and my kids really love it. Um, and like I said, don't forget about the hot foods, the pasta salads, all kinds of things like that. And you know what? If you think that your kids aren't going to get quite enough, you know, fruits and veggies for the day, you might as well throw in a packet of Voots veggie fruit tarts into their lunch as well. These are supplements and they are great because they are made of 11 real fruits and vegetables. They have the vitamin C antioxidant power of three servings of fruits and veggies. So this is going to give them that extra boost. It's going to make you feel a little bit better that they got a little extra vitamin C. Um, so you might as well look at how easy it is. It's just a packet. There's two supplements in there. You throw that in their lunch bag. And it's like I said, 
the vitamin C antioxidant power of three servings of fruits and vegetables. Not a substitute, again, for the fruits and veggies, but just an added bonus um, so that you know that they're getting enough. Um, so there you go. That is just a few of my ideas for kind of mixing up the lunchbox. Like I said, I want to know your ideas because I know you guys got better ones, so leave me a comment under the video. Please don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel because you know what, maybe I would have missed the, you know, Peter Brangeli sushi idea or something. I don't know. Just make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will talk to you next time. I'm Holly Schultz from babygizmo.com.